<laughs> Hi, kiddo. Hi, sir. Hi, Nala. <laughs> Hi, good morning everybody. This is Brittany here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. If you guys can take a minute and share this, tag your friends and family. We are live. We just got started. This is Hutch. And Nala was just right here, but she already wandered away. I wanted to start this up early because I think we're going to walk over and check in with Max and Marianne, maybe try to see chaos. <laughs> so Hutch is having his morning grass. Aria with her morning chuffs. I hear you back here, baby. That was a throwback. That made me think of um, when you were witness protection and we couldn't tell anybody about you yet. <laughs> Aria Tiger still out enjoying vacation rotation the next couple of weeks when she came to us she was a witness protection cat meaning we couldn't really show her or talk much about her we just housed her here and cared for her and loved her and then eventually the state of Ohio won their case and Aria got to stay with us but back before we could show her on camera, she would almost always come up behind me if I was showing her neighbor, you got an itchy ear. She would almost always, <laughs> look at that foot kick. <laughs> I love when cats do that. My cat at home does that where he'll, if he gets the right spot, his little tongue will just start licking the air for no reason whatsoever. So anyway, she was so chuffy and always so happy to see us that like I would go and like try to show you guys Amanda or something when they were all, it was just Amanda and Aria living out here in Outback. And I would show Amanda and you'd hear this lovely, adorable chuff going on in the background. And it was Aria. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to show her or talk about it. Uh, she had Catherine and I dying laughing during a feeding, a virtual feeding tour once. She was just talking it up. So very silly. All right, well, looks like we've got over 100 people watching. So some of you guys have shared and tagged. We're on foot, so it'll take a few minutes anyway. Maybe more people will join in. We'll go check in on Max and Mary Ann kind of start working our way that direction. Of course, if we see anybody along the way, Kali's over here out in the sunshine. So within the next hour, my two eBay auctions for the month of March will be concluded. So, oh, there she goes. Either heading to her den or heading to her favorite sunshine spot. Hi, lady. This is Kali. You can lay in your favorite sun spot. That looks perfect. That is perfect. Oh, here's another one of those signs with the cat. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. So pretty. I don't want to go behind the barricade and lean down towards her because that might make her want to come over and say hi. 
she just got cozy directly in the sun. Not as chilly this morning as the last two mornings. It's actually quite pleasant to just be in a t-shirt. Unless you're on a golf cart, then, then you're gonna want that hat or <laughs> sweatshirt a little bit. So, twice now, I have posted reels featuring Cyrus, who's right over on the other side of the lake here trilling across the lake yesterday for the first time i've ever witnessed i was able to get him to walk over his waterfalls and ponds into his overhead tunnel for the first time so i posted that on instagram yesterday i tried to push it through to our facebook page but i do not know if it ever went through it's been really squirrely reels they're still figuring it all out i think hi sim there's a simba also directly in the sunshine. Soak up all that vitamin D, sir. There are thousands of people flocking here this month just to do that same exact thing. <laughs> Bask in the Florida sun. <laughs> Looks like Max is out up here. Everybody's still pretty active after breakfast. Oh, I see that your yellow donut and your blue toy moved again. Monday night, he was such a doll baby, weren't you? I didn't even have to use the long stick for you for meds. As soon as I showed him I was here and I had food, he walked right over. And then he went and laid on that tall platform by the lake where that red toy is in the background and just hung out for the rest of the time. It was beautiful. Morning. <laughs> Everybody's in the sunshine. <laughs> so if you're looking for a cat, look. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hi, Jazzy. I know. I know. The Jasmine. I know. I feel like they probably already fed you. Now they're just coming around to double check plates. Yeah, Marie and Bethy are just checking plates. Jasmine's been all in a tizzy having Max Tiger down here across from her, which is so funny because she's already been next to Kimba for quite a long time. Ooh, yeah, are you right in front of your camera? This is why it's so fun to have like multiple cameras pulled up on your computer screen all day long because you never ever know when a cat is going to walk by, flop by, do something really cute on camera. All of our live cameras are at bigcatcams.com and they're labeled by cat, but it could get confusing when we let like Max Tiger be in Aria's enclosure. What are you doing? You chuffing right into that camera pretty much. You chuff right into it. Adorable. That is an adorable Jasmine face on that camera right now. These are the Vercata cameras. They're stationary cameras. They don't have anybody manning them and zooming in and out or anything like that. They capture what they capture, but we do have Explore cameras as well. <laughs> You're so nosy. She's so like, I'm gonna go see, just triple check they're not giving the boys anything extra. They're, they're not giving the boys anything that you're not getting. <laughs> they're not. I promise, you're not getting cheated or nothing. So Kimba is home, but he is currently on the opposite side of his enclosure so that they can clean, start cleaning on this side. So we won't see any cats here for a minute until I get around the corner. And I'm hoping to find Max and Mary Ann. I think I heard that they were put, putting them back together. And if they did, that's perfect, because then I don't have to ask to do it. <laughs> I 
All right. Well, there is a maxi. Are you guys together? Hi, Max. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. Hi, kiddo. Maybe you guys aren't back together yet. Of course, it's not like you... Oh, oh, you might be. Where's that Marianne? Where's that Marianne? Whoa, there's Marianne. <laughs> I knew she had to be in there somewhere. I did not realize she was gonna jump over that den. <laughs> they were very feisty yesterday morning. I captured some video that will either be a reel or a supporter video likely where <laughs> these two are hilarious and kind of impossible Woo! to separate in the morning. We have bobcats that share enclosures, but during feeding they are separated just so there's never a risk that they want to fight each other for food. Also, Max has a special dietary need compared to uh, Marianne. She still can eat whole prey and larger pieces of food and things like that, but Max cannot. So for safety reasons on that aspect, we also separate them, but they are very difficult to separate most mornings because this is what they're doing. They're hide and seek and chasing and zooming and, or they're cuddly and grooming and you feel like the worst person on the planet for telling them they need to be in separate sections. So it's nice when you know they've finished their full diets and they can go back together. You trying to lure him out of the space, aren't ya? That happens to be the bubble where they both go potty, so. <laughs> he might be needed in a personal moment, lady. I'm loving this spring action we're getting here. She's like, oh, it's, it's the first week of spring. Every move I make, there's gonna be a spring into action. He's really fixated on that tree and she's really fixated on him. What's over there? Hi, cute boy. Hi, cute boy. Oh, I'm going to get attacked again. <laughs> Guys, you're being so rowdy. Did you get him? Please don't pee on me. You tried yesterday too. <laughs> Thanks, lady. <laughs> yesterday I was cleaning them. Oh, look at that belly, sir. This is probably not your most flattering angle, <laughs> buddy. He has always been a very big bobcat, but when he still has winter fluff, Holy moly. That is ridiculous, sir. That is so ridiculous, sir. So both Max and Marianne are bobcats. They are likely from different regions. I don't, nobody really knows for sure where Marianne might have originated from. She was rescued from Kansas. Max was rescued out of uh, Rhode Island, but that's where he was being kept as a pet. So I don't know that he is native to there, but he's pretty huge. Hey, that's not nice. 
she gonna get some serious revenge on you. She's small but mighty, sir. You're gonna find out the hard way. Good news is he's not using his dagger nails, even though he definitely could be. You guys play so rough. Bobcat play looks just terrifying. Whoa, that was a very big stick that fell. That was a very big stick that fell, wait. Yeah, scary. She's like, I'm done with you. That was rude. He did that on live TV. That was some serious WrestleMania, sir. <laughs> she didn't learn her lesson, clearly. Lesson not learned. If she was truly offended, she would definitely make it known. This is just how they play. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Marianne, he's got like 40 pounds on you. <laughs> but notice he never pins her down. It's always him on the bottom flopping around on his back. You get him. <laughs> She's had some really cute faces, though. Hi, yeah, I'm still here watching your shenanigans. Watching these shenanigans. Oh, head, head bonks. Head bonks. He's like, I promise we're still friends. We're friends. You guys have me tired. It's only 9.16. Gotta get all this energy out while it's still nice and cool. Because at the heat of the day, they are going to be snoozing. Well, that was very fun, Max. Very silly. Very, very silly. There's a lot of stuff falling out of trees today. Can you hear it, bud? It's like the third branch I've heard. I'm like, there's not even wind. It's not raining. It's not, maybe it's because everything was so cold yesterday. I don't know. It was weird yesterday morning as we were doing lockouts and feeding. Everybody had like three layers on and hats and scarves and all kinds of stuff. But by the time we started cleaning, Within like an hour or so later, we were just shedding layers because it got so hot so quick. It's like, this is how we all get pneumonia. Whoa, that would have been fun in 3D. <laughs> all right, kiddos, thank you for this. This was a very pleasant way to start the day. Pleasant. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Well, um, tomorrow is also, I believe, the rescue anniversary for Sue and Lakota. So be celebrating them all day on Instagram and I'm gonna try and ask Emma if she has any exclusive photos and videos she's never really shared with anyone and see if we can use those because she is definitely the person for those cats. <laughs> thank you so much Nancy for the donation and thank you to anyone else who has donated today. 100% of your donations goes to the care of these cats. looking for Kimba, but he is up and on the move, so we will let him be. I did say we'd try to go see Chaos. I know it's Wednesday, but we can always see Mr. Manny as well. Although I don't think anything will top a couple videos ago. <laughs> don't know if he's moving this week. I'm hoping to find all that out in the staff meeting today. I don't know if today's the fun or this week is the funcation moving day. Oh, she's peeking out of her den right now. It was really funny last night um, my twin Sarah D messaged me and was like I just got like the biggest Amazon box should I save it for you for small uh, enrichment and I was like well I think I have everything box wise that I need for hers but I was like but do you know who needs a box chaos <laughs> I was like she loved her last one and it was shocking and it was just like the simple box that had paper mache balloons it was for the uh the carnival theme and she blew our minds because she absolutely loved it and I was like I think you could just stuff the box with a bunch of tissue paper hi lady hi honey can we just say hi to you for a minute I asked Sarah to make you a box. It'll be so fun. I know. You are interrupting my morning routine. So hopefully sooner than later, maybe she'll get a new enrichment box. <laughs> I see you. You're being very sneaky. You have been so sneaky. Hi. Hi, Stinker. This is Manny. Is this deja vu or are you going to show off again? Deja vu. You going to show off and hang out? Manny Jaguar. I saw that my mom ordered your blanket today. <laughs> if you guys did not order those fleece, Big Cat Rescue Blankets at BigCatRescue.biz. There are, I think, seven different cats on two different sizes. Manny is one of them. They are gorgeous. And my favorite thing about the blankets is they really are like so versatile because they really are warm and cozy for when it's cold. But if it's just a little chilly, like by a campfire or honestly wrap up in it after you've gotten out of the pool on a summer night, like there's so many options because they're not huge and heavy, but they are like just very cozy, very cozy. So I just saw that you got one ordered and then I looked, I was like, that is my mother. <laughs> So again, you guys have about a half an hour for our, our current two eBay auctions. I am on the fence. I've got about 30 items left 
and I don't know if I should do more in a month than what I've been doing. I'd love some feedback from you guys because I know certain people are like, oh, they're too, they've been going for too much money than what some people can bid, but I also don't know if people want more of like, I tried to do a couple buy it now items that never sold, so I don't know the best plan for that, but I have about 30 items. I think more than half, though, are past cats. So unless you've been following for a while, you may not know some of them. But I do have a handful of current cats or our most recent rehab cats as well. I think come July is probably when I'm going to do some that I know is like basically everybody's favorite tiny cat. What was that? I know I hear a gate clip. What does that mean? Oh boy. Oh boy. Who should we go see? I think we should go try to see maybe Kulona, Dryden, and Lovey. What do you think? Oh, hi, good boy. Or we just stay here with most handsome. Okay, unless my phone's not going to participate. You kind of laid at a weird angle for the phone, but that's okay. Yeah. Hi, good boy. Let's not charge the side or nothing, okay? Let me scooch just a little bit more. Yeah, I know. Hi, hi, good boy. Hi, everybody says how gorgeous you are. Beautiful eyes, so handsome. Looking very sleepy, but that could be a trick. Yeah, that could be a trick. So Manny is in funcation the way Ari is in vacation and they do rotate every two to four weeks. So we'll find out if Manny is going to move to his brand new enclosure tomorrow or not. If it's a moving cat day, my lives will likely be, and everybody, I know, I'll let you take a private bath. Private bath. Don't have too much more time before I got to get walked back to the staff meeting so let's go see if there's a lovey she is in the right direction I need to walk so Well, if you guys joined in late today, we've seen quite a few cats. I kind of saw most of them from a distance as I was walking. But we've seen some servals, some tigers, some bobcats. We saw a caracal and a jaguar. So BigCatTV.com, if you guys haven't subscribed there, that is where all of these lives go now, along with basically any video that we post, period, at, the, at this point in time, um, ends up at BigCatTV.com, which is our main YouTube channel. Mr. Kimba from a distance. So 
So up here is where Manny will be moving to. Again, not sure if that will be tomorrow or not. That'll be a process. We're gonna have to get him into like, the tiger transport and roll him over. But a lot of work has been done in these enclosures. Have to make sure all the doors are safe and make sure that doorways and lockouts and such are big enough for him. They obviously built this brand new platform. And you can see they've already moved his signs. So all of Manny's signs have been moved over. That's what gave me the idea that maybe we'd be moving him this week, but I don't know. Uh, so poor lovey might have a jaguar neighbor for a bit i don't know if the plan is to move lovey somewhere less scary <laughs> at that point she's been in this enclosure the entire time i've known her so i don't know which would be better or worse <laughs> Bobcats are not a huge fan of change. Sometimes it works out great for them, but when it doesn't, it's written all over their face. Oh, hi, lovey. Hi, sweetheart. What you doing? What's that girl doing? You getting cozy right there? Is that where you're gonna hang out? So cozies. Very, very cozy. It's a good angle to see all of her spots. So interesting how all the different bobcats look so unique in their own way. The farther north you find them, the less spotty pattern and more like a solid pattern on their bodies, but spotty bellies and they're much bigger. They're usually lighter in color so they can blend in more with the snow. And then you've got like kind of the in-between, not, not as big, not as fluffy, a little more pattern. All the way down to our tiny little Florida bobcats like Flint and Mrs. Claus and Summer, but even with them, them, like some of them are very spotty, some of them are not at all. <laughs> it's so weird and amazing. They're all so unique. When I first started, it felt like it'd be an impossible feat to memorize and learn where all of the cats were and who they were, especially if they share an enclosure with another cat, but it was not difficult at all. They're all so unique. It was only difficult when we were moving their enclosures constantly, but even that wasn't that difficult either. Miss Lovebug. <laughs> of course, there was like 35 more bobcats when I started eight years ago. I don't know if that's the exact number, but there were a lot more, a lot, a lot more. Well, I don't know that I'm going to get lucky with another Kelowna Dryden sighting like we had earlier this week. So let's go ahead and see Sue and Lakota for a few minutes before I need to jet. And... That way, just in case tomorrow's a moving day and I don't end up getting to come see Sue and Lakota, you guys can see them today. Oh, hi! Hi, cutie! I hear you! So, we've got Mr. Lakota. Hi! Hi, mister. Happy anniversary to you. I think it's like six years or something tomorrow five or six years here's little sue hi sue baby hi 
surprise you, baby. Happy anniversary, kiddos. Happy anniversary, kiddos. I'm sure you're going to get spoiled with enrichment and treats. Yeah. Sweet girl, you're not running away from me. That's exceptional. That's a very fantastic thing, although you've got like a vine right in front of your face. Oh, you're okay, mister. As soon as I crouched down, he started getting sneaky. Are you getting sneaky? Whoa. She very growly right now. Yeah. They are still separated for feeding, so I'm going to wait and let their cleaners put them back together, but the handsome Mr. Lakota. Yeah, handsome guy. Thank goodness Sue has definitely filled out, though. She was so tiny and skinny when they arrived. It was frightening. Should have been a couple years old as an adult and was just so tiny. So tiny. So tiny. Hi. I know, I'm still here. I just want people to see you. Say, go sponsor me today or tomorrow for my rescue anniversary. Yes. Look how fluffy she is. I love it so much. She's like, okay, you got too close to me. I'm going to go now. All right, guys. Well, I am going to actually wrap up this live. Again, if you missed any part of it, you can rewatch it at BigCatTV.com or it's going to post automatically here on our Facebook page. You have about a half an hour left to go to eBay if you're interested in either of the two auctions currently going on. If you'd like to sponsor Sue and Lakota for their rescue anniversary, which will be tomorrow, there will be an anniversary post that you guys can donate on. You can sponsor them at BigCatRescue.biz. Thank you to everybody who shared this, helped out in the comments, and a really big thank you to anybody who did donate on this live. And I hope you guys have a great midweek. <laughs> You're almost there. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow with whatever that brings. <laughs> All right. Bye, Lakota. Bye, sir.